What was the founding aha moment for you with Allbirds and you committing 10 years plus of your life to this business? We come from very different backgrounds. So Tim Brown's my co-founder. He was a professional athlete, but he happened to have a design background. He's from New Zealand. He became the captain of the New Zealand national soccer team all the way through the 2010 World Cup. So obviously quite good at his trade and was sponsored by the big sportswear companies during that time. Just like most entrepreneurial journeys, it starts with a moment where there's a problem out there that's not being solved for you individually. And he certainly had that and left wanting something. And it was around these gigantic logos on the side of his shoes. It was around the fact that the world had casualized and the footwear industry just really hadn't kept up with it. So he had this really unique and intuitive sense for the consumer, for the industry, and wanted to do something. He ended up throwing a Kickstarter up to like get it out of his system, frankly. Um, and that was in 2014. I was one of the first customers of that Kickstarter because our wives happened to be really close friends and were roommates in college. And as all good things happen in life, it's through the people who support you. And our wives are certainly uh, no exception to that rule. At the time, though, what I was doing, I had caught the itch to use entrepreneurship for the benefit of the environment and the dynamic nature of the private sector in general, I knew could make a profound impact on the problem of our species, the existential threat that we all face. And that is more true today than it ever has been. And it certainly was in my mind back in 2016, when Tim and I launched Allbirds. With that itch, I took that and for the better part of a decade was working at a biotechnology company. It was called Soul Solozyme. And we manipulated microalgae to eat low carbon intensity inputs. We use the waste streams from sugarcane processing. And through that manipulation of the microalgae, we would enable this microbe to multiply and grow and produce any kind of replacement for petroleum. And so I led the petrochemical replacement area, which is kind of green chemicals, and would go out and talk to brands around the world, talk to other businesses about the idea that you could replace what you use today have a higher performance and no carbon impact on the world. And it was like breathtaking, like, yes, of course we want that. And then all of a sudden it was three conversations later. It's like, you know what? We actually just need margin. Can you make this plastic stuff just and make it cheaper? And so it was a Sisyphean exercise for me where I realized that while the technology existed, the consumers wanted it, this no compromise offering was there for the taking and brands could not position it correctly. And so Tim and I came together and saw that one plus one could equal three. We could blend his design instinctual sense for the consumer with my material science background and experience in entrepreneurship. And we decided that this was a worthwhile endeavor for leadership, for business, and for a legacy that we thought our grandkids would be proud of.